All right, I want to welcome everyone in. Welcome you back. Uh, oh, if you're new or returning. Um, what I did do here was create Estrel or Estrel or however you want to pronounce it, because the AE in certain languages or even English would be represent a weaker E, so Estrel. In this case, it is decently mobile. Um, not all that great. I think it was uh, at 73, 2,160 cargo, 1,600 shields, 1,622 on the hull. So this is going to be able to tank some damage. Um, 140 top speed because this is a class B vessel. Uh, well, it's class C uh, using class B engines. He done 71 for a count of four. Um, now for the done 71s, you don't unlock those until I think I was level 57, 58, somewhere around there when I unlocked those engines. So per the usual, I'm going to recommend you be level 60 or above. Um, if you want to cut down on this, you want more performance, you can get rid of maybe some of the pipes or, you know, a couple of these fuel tanks because I do have six of the 600 THE3 tanks on here. That is totally up to you. Um, for me, I like the aesthetic. The pipes kind of running into the fuel here and through the radiator in here, through here and down to the engine. So it kind of gives that whole, you know, seamless feel. Now for the Skeg A, I might have put like a smaller fuel tank here and try to have the pipes running through this and this. Uh, it's kind of imaginary, even though it's not functional, but... Or as someone I spoke to mentions, for realism... It does make sense. Um, for design reasons, it may or may not, depending on you, as uh, everyone's perception and thoughts and imagination are going to be different. So, I'm going to go ahead and tear Astral down, and I will meet you back here in the builder. Uh, let's get into this. Um, what I'm going to start with is... Um, I'll list all this in the description, just so you know what we're using. The four-facing shipbed 200 landing bay. Uh, we're at the, uh, the aft position, uh, so you're going to need a number of Hope Tech hab spines. I use these quite a bit throughout. Um, so we're going to go from our landing bay to our hab spine. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to elongate this ship, make it longer? Uh, let's see what our overall length is. So for here, Habs, um, this entire thing is made from Stroud. So we're going to start by loading into our workshop. So we're at 2 by one Stroud workshop. Grab yourself another Hope Tech Habs spine. Pop that on the back of the workshop. And maybe you can guess what's coming next. We're going to go with a Stroud Armory. Now we're only at 30 length here. So... Um, I could extend this out for more version. Since I like these hab spines, I guess I'll add another one. We're at 34 now. Um, at the back of the armory, we're going to pop down a Stroud Companionway. Go up one, right? Companionway to Companionway. And while we're here, I'm going to put a slim docker on the bottom. I know I'm jumping around, but I tend to forget this. And uh, I may throw you all off. <laughs> but we're going to use the 100 DP slim docker from Deimos. Um, And we're going to grab two more back to Habs here. Right, so Habs spine. So I think Habs spine. I'm doing this from memory here. Um, left trigger, right trigger, A to our attachment method. Um, living quarters. And from here, we're going to do an all-in-one berth, two by one from Stroud. Um, we could do B, we could do A. Um, I'm going to throw an A in here. A not for a hole, but you know. I think I had one more here. Another uh, Hope Tech Hab Spine. 
Um, may not let me do that. Can I? No. I'm trying to, yeah, I can't do that. I'm going to go back to my regular, I'm at my outpost on another planet, so I don't have everything readily available to me. But we'll stick with our regular build here. This out. Move the living quarters and all the birth back. I think this went here to our... Uh, let's see, I think this was an all-in-one berth. This I'm going to keep out for now. Another proud companion way. I think what I did here was I put... Um, it wasn't an all-in-one berth. Was it a science lab and infirmary up here? I believe. Infirmary shoot back. Captain's quarter science lab. Just for this. Right here. Um. I'm gonna put a porthole there. On this companion way. Go ahead and drop B. Hope tech. Anyway, fuselage A. This, I forget what I was for. <clears throat> Pretty terrible, huh? Um, yeah, our shield's gonna go in here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, we're gonna use the Class C insurance SD 1800. Pop that right on top of our Hope Tech Hab spine here. Um,. No, oh, four reactors. Inch eight Z. Gonna get dropped right here underneath our. Hey, now it's gonna get attached to our fuselage and our top companion way here. So we're gonna go that route. Um, let's see our grav drive. Uh, because I'm getting close to the point where I'm gonna be getting the armillary, the Helios four hundred. Put that right in front of your shield. Alright, now from here, I'm trying to remember what I used. I think it was an engineering bay to, um... We go back to Habs. We used engineering bay to... Wait. This was the infirmary. This was... I'm confusing myself here. Infirmary. This is science lab. Captain's quarters, engineering bay, infirmary. You know what? Let's see if I can toss an infirmary in here. No, it won't let me do that. So I gotta go back. Forget what this was used for now. You know, I doubled up. This is here, this is here, fuel tank here and here. I'll get rid of it for now. Okay, so, uh, the shield structural. Uh, while I'm here, the DS 40.2 bridge, that's gonna go up, attached to our Hope Tech Companion Way Fuselage A. right now um, to get this out of the way I've already picked these up done 71 engines I'm gonna go right or did I yeah there no here and down here I'm just gonna select both duplicate and pop them right under here right now I go back to my cargo tab. Um, this is the only one I'm using. Galleon S204. And the other one, what was I using back here? Shielded cargo. So I'm going to flip that aft and stick it underneath the Galleon S204 back here. Um, fuel tanks, there's quite a bit of them. I'm going to go ahead and knock those out here. Um, 600 T HE3. 
one underneath our captain's quarters behind our only one berth in front of our engines the port side and again on starboard side uh port side all right so we're going to grab another one we're going to stick it right in front of our living quarters now we're going to take the other one throw that in front of our all-in-one berth here Um, this should actually be higher up. I'm going to take another one, drop it down one level. So it's going to get attached to this uh, uh, attachment point. Same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to duplicate it. Pop that up. Because we're going to put a radiator here. Right, so that's... Uh, that's six of them. I just need two more of the M40s. We're going to stick those... Right here and here. Right, we're going to do the same thing. Duplicate it. Flip it. Port side. Pop that on the end. We're coming along. Alright, so let's see here. Landing gear. NG10s. Um, we're putting one here on this fuel tank. Duplicate it. Put it on the other. Uh, duplicate flip. We're going to do the same thing on this side. This is going to go to the top attachment on the lower fuel tank. Hey, stop it. And this is going to go to the bottom attachment on the upper fuel tank. So we duplicate it and attach. Now grab two more facing the aft position. Remember, you can grab these and left D pad, right D pad, flip it around. One goes on the fuel tank, that top attachment point there. And one goes, hey, one goes to the back of our all-in-one berth. So I'm going to duplicate this and pop that. I'm just going to duplicate them, <clears throat> pull them over here, grab this and flip it, attach it at the same points here, back of our living quarters and the top attachment point of our fuel tank. Okay, let's see here. Um, for more structural, I'll leave this out here because we're going to need a bunch of them. Actually, you know what? I use one that I just duplicated. I don't play around with all that. Um, Hope Tech Bumper A. These are going to go on the very front here. Front of our infirmary and front of the all-in-one berth. Coming along. Now, for more, Hope Tech Nose B. We're going to flip it aft. We're going to toss this on our cargo. Because that's in our structural as well. Cover up that blockiness of the cargo there. Uh, let's see. Hope Tech Pipes 4. You're going to need a bunch of these. We're going to put this on the front of the top fuel tank here. And same thing over here. Right? I'm going to duplicate this, flip it. I'm putting it on the back of our science lab here. And on the back of the captain's quarters up here. Um, we're going to need more of those eventually, but not right now. Um, Hope Tech Pipes, we're going to need a bunch of those. But I'm going to grab one, put it on top of our all-in-one berth. Behind that front fuel tank here. Duplicate it, drop it off on the other side. We're sitting here behind our fuel tanks now. And our Hope Tech radiator. Wait, push these back because the radiator is not going to fit with the bridge there. Duplicate that, pop that over. All right. Now, these Hope Tech pipe mid, these are going to go all across the bottom here, attached to this back fuel tank it's gonna run all the way along to the front i'm gonna pop another one duplicate another and just because i want to make this easier i'm gonna highlight or select all three duplicate drag them over and drop them so here on port side 
and here on starboard. So you can see starboard right here. If I mess this build up, I'm going to be mad. Anyway, um, I'm going to grab another one of these. I'm going to need that. I think that's all for the Hope Tech stuff. So six, seven, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the Hope Tech pipe mids you're going to need. And four radiators because we're going to go ahead and do like this number on the front. About the top attachment point of that fuel tank. This is going to pop on. Same thing on this side. So that's open. While I'm here, I'm going to throw these pipes on the front of the radiators. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, I didn't use risers. We're going to need a four of these braking engines. They're going to sit right up on the front attachment point of our science lab. And our captain's quarters right here. Then, on either side of the reactor here, I'm going to pop two more. Right? Now, more structural. This Nova Cowling 1L, port 4, I'm going to hit right on D-pad to give me the mid variant, or PM, port mid. PM, not sleep, not yet. Attach that to the empty spot here on the side of the living quarters. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Bang. We're coming along slowly but surely. What's this error? Do a few landing gears. I'll finish up structural first. Um, I didn't use any of this stuff. Uh, horizon weapon mounts. Yeah. I'm going to drop one right on the side of our uh, shipbed 200 landing bay from Tayo. And on the other side. We're going to use that for comm spikes and um, conduction grids. I'm going to grab another one. This is going to go right up here. I'm going to flip that and stick it right on the top attachment point of that G3 tank. Same thing we did over here. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast or I'm screwing you all up. Um, I'd love to know that. Porthole 4. I'm going to grab a porthole 4. I'm going to go... Oh, I don't want to mess you all up here. This is going to go on this companion way just underneath our Hope Tech fuselage. And I'm going to grab some porthole starboard. Stick that on the inside of Science Lab. Duplicate, flip it, and it'll go green immediately right against the captain's quarters. Drop that. Now we can put the bridge back on. Um, didn't do weapons yet. I haven't done the portholes yet. Um, well, while we're here, I'm going to go over to landing gear 320 CB. Drop that under each radiator at four or front of ship. Okay, that's it for that. We're going to go back to structural. I'll finish this off. Where's my egg A? What? While I'm here, I think I'm going to change that up a little bit. See how that works out. Um, 300G. Let's see how that would... If I put that... It's off. This down here. Nope, that ain't going to work. So we're going to go with my original plan here. Uh, a little bit uh, overly ambitious or optimistic. So Demo Skage facing 4 default when you buy it and we're going to do the same thing here have those pipes running through I guess that kind of works because it fuels the landing gear as well so it's like a closed system up here 
almost. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think that's it for that. Now these portholes, I just put them everywhere and anywhere. That's going to go there. Um, one more weapon mount is going to go on the inside of our radiators here. There we go. So here and here. The back attachment point of your armory. Um, portholes, you, I wouldn't put them there because you're just going to be staring at pipes and fuel tanks. So there's really no field of view there. There's no field of view here either. don't like leaving open areas like that so I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up so porthole at the front of the engineering bay at the front of our infirmary and at the front of our all-in-one grab another porthole I'm gonna sink that oh hey I hope that doesn't leave it glitched in anywhere that's gonna go on the side of our infirmary here science lab and we're gonna duplicate it flip it and put this one on the other side of the captain's quarters here all right we're coming along nicely all right so porthole top and bottom I use a lot of these on this build on that three by one engineering bay at the very top one two now you can highlight, select this one and this one, then hit Y to duplicate, drag them forward. It'll be right on top of the infirmary. Um, I'm going to duplicate two more. Well, it'll be a total of four, but on top of our science lab here is where these are going to go. Uh, duplicate these two again, and drag them over to the captain's quarters. Now, funny part here, what I did... Duplicate it, I flip it, and we're going under the ship. Grab this one. I put it on the uh, Hope Tech Hab Spine so I can look down. And then on our workshop, and select duplicate, pull them over to our armory, and put one more on this Hab Spine here. Alright, now for weapon. Um, I hope I don't go too fast and mess you all up. We're going to go with... Where are you? PB-175. Uh, yeah, I don't like the autos too much. Um, two of these are going to go here on this front. The top of the horizon weapon mount here. One more up here. What did I do? Did I put more up here? I think I put two more up here on the sides of this Aries bridge. So now we're going to put one, two, three missile launchers. Um, while we're here, let's go ahead and do that. Um, the two ADCs. We're going to put one on our Aries bridge from Deimos. One on the side of our fuselage, and the other side. Even though it looks like it'll be blasting into our bridge. I don't know. It's just the way I did that. Um, so, go moving on. Obliterator 250 megavolt alpha turret. Facing forward here on the top of this weapon mount. What the heck are you doing? It's bugging. Jesus. On the top of this Nova weapon, uh, Horizon weapon mount. Then on the other side, facing. Grab one more or duplicate it. We're gonna face it aft. Put it right on the top of our Hope Tech fuselage here. And that completes that. Oh, there's really no other place to put the missile launchers, so. Um, whatever y'all want to do with it or mess around, tinker with it, move things around, maybe put. No, that's not going to work. 
I was going to say put a weapon mount here, but then you'd be blowing Helion beams into your missile launcher. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go over to equipment. Um, scan jammers. These are going to go I'll put these over here underneath my uh, alpha turrets. Duplicate that. Pop it on the other side there. Now, comm spikes. I chose. The, remember these front weapon mounts here. Comm spike on top. Flip that over to the other side. So we're looking. Jesus. Stop it. Oh my god. Whatever. Here, this weapon mount with the comm spike. This weapon mount with the comm spike on top. Buggy ship builder, I'm telling you. I'm not using any mods for it. I do have them. Like the crew station, it gives me more crew, but I'm not using it. Anyway. We're going to put a conduction grid on the bottom. And another conduction grid on the bottom there. Um, in this playthrough, I sided with Crimson Fleet. I have another character that I'm siding with UC on. And if we run into the NPCs here, we might be berated by them. I'm just going to say, hey, they're better, they're better allies. Screw you. Um, I don't know. Y'all probably hate me for doing that. But it's that will complete this, I believe. Now for coloring, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I initially just started with all white. Right, leave it like that for now. Um, these Nova cowlings didn't color very well. Needed it with a passion, so I went the color to, and I dropped it down to. You know, maybe go up. It's too bright. Go down. It's too dark. You know, it just gets darker. It doesn't blend very well. It's I can't get that to match. I think this is a good medium. I mean, it does all right. It, it still shows. I hate it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, now for the Habs, uh, this is going to be a challenge because I didn't color any of this until after, and I had to go searching for them and digging them and trying to find ways to select them all without taking things off. And where's that other? There it is. That companion way. Grab that. Um, I grab that hab. I like, no, what? Oh my god, I gotta go back and do this all over again. Friggin' buttons. Okay, no, I don't want to select the porthole. Maybe I should have drank my full cup of coffee before I did this. <laughs> all right, go in here, grab that companion way this companion way these two halves here all right good um it wasn't color two it was color three um wanted that i didn't want it to be too blue i didn't want it to be too bright that looks about fine right there so um brighten that up hold back on the blue a little bit yeah that's good I like that a lot so that will be your color three where everything else is just a pure pure white so I'm gonna leave that for a few seconds or you can just pause it here and copy that for I mean, if you're building along if you're not then it's fine all right getting out of there um grab these engines I wanted to do color three is gonna be the blue color two I'm gonna do that uh make it a bit more red brighten it so it's a bit more faded so it gives it a very light touch it's not harsh. Yeah, that'll be color too. 
So whatever you use for the Habs for the color of the blue, you're going to use similar for the red. Maybe a bit uh, lighter. Excuse me. Now for the fuel tanks at the back, the M40s. Color 2 is going to be the blue-ish. Color 3 is going to be that red-ish. Um, now for the bridge, color three is blue, color two is going to be that very, very faint red-ish. And that will complete this build, I believe. Uh, these, I want to make sure they're white, white, um, because they look very weathered and faded. I don't like that very much. Um, yep, that's the best I can get on those. Um, you can color the pipe something different or you can leave it all default. I would rather not, um, oh yeah, I have to assign, um, we're going to put the turret on Y so we don't have to use that weapon two as Y. Weapon one is going to be your believe right trigger so I'm going to go ahead and put my PB-175s weapon 0 is left trigger so put the 280Cs so <laughs> zero, weapon 0 left trigger weapon 1 right trigger weapon 2 Y right that concludes that um let's see if I get Exit out of here. Oh no, Captain's Quarters is up front. Engineering Bay, Infirmary, Captain's Quarters. Is how many, uh. Stop it. I mean, you can build it any way you want. I know most of you might end up changing this out. Pull that off. Yes, our living quarters is here. I used two Optech hab spines here. Jesus. I should have kept building this until I did it without fail or without mistakes. Um Yeah, so captain's quarters. Two Hope Tech Hab spines to our living quarters. And from our living quarters we have another hab spine going back to that companion way. That I did right, except for this part. Um, the bottom, that's correct. Workshop to Armory. Keep blowing. I can't really breathe too well, so I got to keep popping the window open. Anyway. Um, all in one berth B went up here. And the computer core was over here. Armory is just past the engineering bay like I thought it would be. All in all, success. Everything else is the same. That red is a bit too red on that. Don't like that. I'm going to brighten, lighten that up a little bit. There we go. Now she's pretty. All right. That marks that. So three, four, three on the weapons. Yep, we're good to go. Did I hide a control station anywhere? That's what I want to know. Oh, companion way, companion way, companion way. Bottom, companion way. Armory. Living quarters, all in one berth. Engineering bay. Infirmary, captain's quarters. All in one berth. Computer core, yeah. All right, I'm not gonna waste any time here. Um, 
not using a mod on this, am I? Porthole, 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 porthole. That I'm not using a mod, and I better not be. If I take this off, I'm gonna go look for it. Porthole four. No. Nah. Oh, I mean, you all can uh, play with this as much as you want. Uh, rebuild it however you feel. You know, it would work best for you. This is it right here. Estrell. Alright. Um, when is it going to brighten up around here? Anyway. going to... Go in for a little interior viewing. Alright, I first hope tech hab spine here. I can't see out of it yet. It's dark. It hasn't brightened up or landed, so we can't really see. You see some sun. What the f. That's weird. Anyway, we load into our workshop here. Remember, this is all Stroud Eklund. I'm gonna go ahead here. Open you up. We're gonna go into our armory. I happen to like all of this. It's the same as Deimos, so if you're familiar with Deimos, you'll be familiar with all this. Here goes our companion way, our bottom docker here. Straight up ladder. Uh, there's going to be one more based on design here. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, open this up. Through our next Hope Tech Hab Spine. We're going to run into our crowd 2x1 living quarters. Or I mean 2x2 two two living quarters. I've been doing so much building and trying to record all these and I'm screwing up my numbers. But here's that. I like that plant. I see that chair. Alright, so we're going to hop up in here. This is our little chill area here. Now, if you remember from my Habs comparison video, we can just go right up to the window here and look. Take a snapshot. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to hop up out of here. There's going to be two hatches here. This one's going to go to our all-in-one berth. Ba -ba -da -ba. Here we go. Now, uh, open up this hatch. Go through our two Hope Tech Hab Spines. And into our Captain's Quarters. Now, remember at the front, um, there was no Hope Tech Hab Spine going through to get to our infirmary. Oh, so, next level. But a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Out of the way, man. Man. Anyway, this is fine. I can't get through, but you can see our portholes here. We have another research lab and our pharmaceuticals up here. If we go back this way here. This is our engineering bay. Doc, what are you doing? I thought I gave you an infirmary. Go work somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna go right ahead here. Oh, Barrett. Uh oh, nope, I'm out. That guy loves to talk, and that's all he does. Alright, so we're gonna pop out of here, head back to our little tunnel here. Run back here. Oh, it's my wife. No, get up. Okay, go this way. Your up, up, up. So much better than dad's? Like a lot. Alright. Mar companion way here. Take a look at our shield. And when I get the armillary, it will be right there. So we'll be getting a double whammy. See our shield and our armil armillary. Okay. This well, is our computer core here. Harder. I'll make your day harder, all right. Frick. We got Mathis with us here. All right. Here's our, get our little view right here. 
I think our security found something. You can see my security bot just running around out there. Anyway, um, we're gonna head back out this way and over this way. I knew you'd get bored without me. Here's our other all-in-one berth. And since I actually do have ten crew members and this ship can hold ten crew, I wanted all the beds for them. Here's our other viewing port here. Now it's a little bit of a hazy day. It's not very bright. Um, I mean, we are on Kurtz, but... Get... Oh, it's... Hi. oh thank you. Now remember, this is our Optech fuselage, eh? And bada bing bada boom. The Ares Bridge 40.2 from Deimos. Um, what's funny about this is if you have done the mission for deep cover and you obliterate everybody on the UC Vigilance, they use the exact same bridge on that ship. It's massive, but they use this tiny bridge. Oh, the bridge is big, but the ship itself, have you actually seen it or used the Class M mods and built that thing? It's huge, and this thing just looks like a... An ant. Anyway, um, I think I remember counting these before. There's one, two, three, four, eight on the jump seats, or more jump seats. There's 12, 16 jump seats, but I only have 10 crew members. Somebody didn't think about that, I guess, when they built or made the game. 16 jump seats and you're only allowed 10. So you're gonna have to use a mod console commands if you want the 16 crew members. I think that's the max. Um, I have used console command for that before in the past. Um, Player.setAV and spaceship uh, crew command slots. Tried 20, but the max I could only get was 16. Um, I'm not going to encourage using those because you can break your game and have all kinds of crashes, especially if you're using mods and saves coming. It's not good for you. Cool. All right. So we're going to get into this. And. Go and watch it take off. And while we're doing that, I'll sip my coffee so I can wake up a little bit more. Is it just me, or did the ship's uh, creak or sound like it was going to break when it went to take off? We're in orbit. What next? All right, let's test our speeds here. Two eighteen. Was that 812, 813, or 810? Not bad. Alright, so this is your cockpit view here. This is our third person. Um, I don't know if y'all are getting fed up with seeing me doing uh, Combat and Serpentis to showcase this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, definitely let me know about that in the comments. I didn't plot this out on this. You know what? I'm going to cut this out and I'll be right back. All right. Now that we're back, we're going to go ahead and find Pentis. Or Pentis. Oh, so there's two. We'll grab both of these while we're at it. Um, Maybe not. I'm seeing about 43, 42, 43 minutes, something like that. Just said hello again. No hostile activity. Face your suffering. Oh, it's only a level 14. Too far away. Come 
on already. Yeah, baby. Alright, that's one. We're gonna go get the other one. Why not? See all the action. You watch me build, probably fell asleep halfway through this, so get that beauty. <laughs> anyway, you probably fell asleep halfway through this watching me build it like I'm done. So here we are. Um I don't see Oh there's one. Cut back on the engines a bit. Oh dang. Oh, it's because they're low level, that's why. That's terrible. Alright. I think we can get you some decent lighting here. Oh yeah. So this here is Estrell. I love those engines. Look at that green light just shining up there. That's cool. But I want to thank you all for stopping by, checking this out. Um, and definitely stick around because we're going to do a slower kind of um, photo mode kind of walkthrough of the interior. And again... All the engagement helps. Definitely, if you enjoyed this, drop a like and subscribe. Look at that red light on the other side. And I will see you all on the next one. Alright, later.